Hello again, my beautiful yoga friends. Welcome to this 75 minute yin yoga class for stress release. Most of the postures are reclined postures, but we're still working through all areas of the body. The practice also contains meditation music in the background. It's ambient music with cello and piano. I will see you on the mat. Enjoy. For our practice today, you will need a blanket, a block and a meditation cushion. You can also use props that are similar, that give you a similar shape, a similar support. We're starting the practice in reclined butterfly. Use whatever props you have to come into the shape. You want to support your torso, you want to support your head so that you can find a gentle heart opener here to start with. Soles of the feet are together, knees are falling out to the sides, arms are opening out to the sides. Let your body settle into this posture. Make any last little adjustments. And then come into stillness. Feel free to close your eyes now and at any point of the practice. If that helps you to bring your awareness inside. Bring your senses, your full awareness into the here and now. Tune in with your body, the sensations in your body as you're lying here on the props on the ground. Feel the support underneath you. the heaviness and softness of your body. The gentle opening across your chest, at your inner thighs, the front side of the body. Become aware of your body And then gently shift your awareness to your breath. There is no need to control or to change your breath in any way. Just see that you can breathe in and out of the nose. In a soft and relaxed rhythm, breathing into the abdomen. Tune in with your breath, feel the way the air takes as you breathe in and out, one breath after the other. Tuning in with the body. Tuning in with the breath, fully arriving in the here and now.
Take three more breath here. Begin to slide the hands down closer in towards you. Lift your head, lift your torso. Take your time, maybe arriving on the forearms first. Letting your nervous system, the body, adjust. And then eventually pressing yourself all the way up. You can slide the feet a little further away. Take a moment here in this upright posture, feeling the effect, feeling the sensations. Take your props now. If you want, you can use them as support in your next posture. Coming into butterfly, forward folding version now. And when you're ready, you can let your torso fold forward. Spine can round. If you wish, you can support the head. This is not necessary. You could also just let your torso, your head float free. make this work for you and as i said in the beginning this practice is towards stress release so you don't have to make this a super intense yin practice you can use the props to support yourself today so that you can really let go in all areas of the body yes of course you do want to feel stretching sensations in this posture on the inner thighs, the outer hips, wherever you feel this, maybe on the spine, lower back, all the way up to the neck. But be gentle with yourself. Allow your whole body to come into this soft and relaxed state. Matched by your soft and relaxed breath. Your whole body still, your breath still, followed by the stillness of the mind.
We are here for another three breaths. Lifting the head, lifting the torso. And then use your hands to gently press yourself back up. Place the hands behind you, straighten your legs out. If you'd go to the top corners of the mat, gently lean back. Stay here, observe. When you feel ready now, transition onto all fours. Move slow with mindful awareness. We're coming into swan. Slide your right leg forward, knees coming over to the right wrist, foot is going over to the left. Slide the left foot back and start off in the upright variation if you want you can support the right side of the hip maybe using a blanket or a cushion or your block check that your hips are leveled let the hips sink to the ground take one more inhale here and then exhale let your torso fold forward if you want you can let your head and your torso rest on a meditation cushion whatever prop you have you could also just be on the forearms not using any props or if your body feels ready you can also lower the torso all the way onto the ground find your option find your shape make this posture work for you don't go too deep straight away Give your body time to open up. You do want to feel the stretching sensations in and around the hips. But be soft, be gentle. Check that the muscles in your legs, in your hips are relaxed and soft. That you are not resisting the posture, resisting the stretching sensations. Make a conscious effort to relax into the discomfort, into the stretch. Let go a little bit more with every exhale.
If you are resting your torso on a cushion, maybe your body is ready now to go deeper. Don't force anything. Let it happen naturally. Take your last three breath here. Press the hands into the ground now. Walk them in towards you to lift up. Tuck your left toes under, slide the left knee forward so that you can lift your hips, free the right foot back, and then lower yourself down onto the abdomen. Find a comfortable position for your hands and arms, turn your head to one side, relax here, feel the effect of the posture. Maybe you can feel the difference between left and right. Difference in sensations. sensations have faded away slowly come back up into tabletop and then transition over to the other side swan with your left leg in the front right leg back adjust your posture Use props if needed. Stay upright first. If you did so on the first side, maybe you want to get your props ready. And take another inhale here. 
and exhale release your torso forward either coming down onto the forearms the props or all the way down onto the ground find your variation make sure that your pelvis is neutral you're not leaning over to one side Hips balanced, your whole body relaxed. Bring about this feeling of surrendering. Of letting the body become heavy. Of releasing the weight of the body into the ground. Yin yoga teaches us acceptance. Surrendering and letting go. free to stay on your prop on your forearms or if you want to go deeper if you feel ready release the whole body forward onto the ground
holding here for three more breaths. And then press the hands into the ground, lift your torso. Slowly come out of the posture and onto the belly again. Resting here in stillness to observe the effects of the posture. Feeling how the energy circulates through the body. Bring your hands forward now so that you're coming into swings pose. Elbows are going in line with the shoulders. If your lower back is quite sensitive, you can also have the elbows a little wider out. Make this work for you, for your lower back. Also decide if you wanna have the feet closer together, feet wider apart. Experiment for yourself. You do want to feel a gentle compression in the lumbar spine. That's what we're after. There should be no pain. Gentle discomfort, gentle compression in the lower back is what we're looking for. You can keep your head up, neck in line with the rest of the spine. Of comfortable in your neck, you can also let your head hang forward. There is a little bit of activation in this posture in the arms and the shoulder area. That's fine. There should not be stiffness though. There still be this feeling of softness, even though you have to use the hands, arms and shoulders to keep your torso upright. Make sure though that the rest of the body, especially the lower back, your glutes, hip area and legs are soft and relaxed. I like to bring my awareness to my breath in the belly. Observing the way the air takes as you breathe in and out from the belly. And how that also massages the lower back. Soft breath. Soft body. Soft body. 
softness in and around you. If your lower back feels fine, if you feel ready, you can also go deeper now into seal. For seal pose, I like to bring my hands a little wider, about met width distance. You can then straighten the arms to lift the elbows, deepen the compression in the lower back. And maybe you want to walk the hands further in. Find your new edge, find your new deeper point of compression. Don't force anything, don't let there be any pain. If you feel that seal is becoming too intense for you, you can always lower back down into swing. Take your final three breath here. And 
One more inhale. And then use the exhale to come out. You can make a pillow with the hands. Or bring the hands back. Whatever feels more natural to you. Feel the sensations in the lower back. Feel how the energy flows into the lower back, out of the lower back, into any other areas of the body. Reach your right hand forward and simply turn yourself over onto the back. Hug your both legs in towards the chest. Feel the whole back flat on the ground. You can either stay here, hands on the shins, or you can transition into happy baby, hands reaching for the calves, ankles, or outside edges of the feet. Let this be a soft, a gentle happy baby. You're not actively pulling the legs, the thighs closer to the ground. The hands are just holding the legs or the outside edges of the feet. There is no force involved. Keep the whole spine, the sacrum, flat on the ground. And feel the opening across your inner thighs. Be fully present with the sensations. Be fully present in your body. Be fully present with yourself.
three more breath here. And then slowly release, hug the legs in towards the chest. Stay here for a moment. Then release the feet onto the ground. You might need a prop for the next posture. Bring the right foot up. Cross the right leg over the left, option to hook the foot behind the calf. Bring the hips a little over to the right and then let your knees fall over to the left. This is where you might want to use a block or a cushion. Your knees are not touching the ground. It can also stay hovering, that's totally fine. But again, you want this to be more soft a stress releasing practice so allow yourself to use props to support yourself to find even more relaxation if you want you can bring your left hand resting onto the legs opening the right hand out to the side and if possible, maintaining the contact of right shoulder and ground. Feel free to turn your head over to the right as well, finding a twist all the way along the spine. Arrive into your posture. And then let your body enter into stillness. Committing to staying still. To staying with the sensations as they unfold. As they come. As they change. And as they go. You are just here to observe, to notice. One moment after the other.
Take your final three breath here. And then slowly come back into the center and cross your legs. Bring the feet onto the ground about midwards distance. You can keep the knees up or let them fall into one another. Maybe you want to bring one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Taking a moment to pause in the center in between the two sides. If your body is asking for it, you can also hug the legs in towards the chest, wrapping the arms around the legs, maybe even finding gentle releasing movements, rocking from side to side or finding circles. Listen to your body. Transition now over to the other side. The left leg crosses over the right. Option to hook the foot. Pelvis comes over to the left. And then your knees fall over to the right. Option to use props to support the legs. Right hand on the legs. Left hand out to the side. Turn your head over to the left. Make any last little adjustment to your shape. And then arrive in stillness. Notice where in your body you can feel the posture. Where along the spine can you feel the twist? Where else in the body can you feel the stretching sensation? Maybe in the left shoulder, chest area. Maybe on the outside of the left hip. Be curious here, be the observer. Just notice what happens in your body. Observing the sensations without attachment.
Take three more breath here. And then slowly come back out. Back into the center, feet on the ground. Met with distance apart, knees together, one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Feel the effect, feel the spine, your whole body return to neutral. Coming into Shavasana now. Whenever you feel ready, you can extend the legs out. Maybe use your blanket to stay warm, to get comfortable. slightly away from the body with palms facing up neck long maybe that means that your chin is coming to the chest ever so slightly your eyes are closed your breath is flowing in and out of the nose in your natural rhythm gently letting your belly rise and fall with each in breath and each out breath stay fully present fully aware Connected with your body, feeling the sensations in the physical body and the energetic body, staying fully present with all the sensations. Gentle awareness. Gentle and relaxed awareness of the here and now.
Bring your awareness back to the breath now. Take a few deeper breaths. And then bring movement back into the body. Beginning with your hands, your feet, wrists and ankles. Turning your head gently from side to side. Bend your legs, step the feet in and roll yourself over onto your favorite side. And then press yourself up, come into a seated posture. Sit comfortable with your spine long, your shoulders relaxed, hands resting on your legs or in your lap. Take a few more grounding, centering breath, taking the stillness and relaxation with you now as you leave your practice. Join your hands together at your heart. Gently bow the head forward, chin goes towards the chest. And then open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you for joining my beautiful yoga friends. Let me know in the comments what you think about this yin yoga class. How did you like the music? If you want to support me, please give the video a like and share it with your friends. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. If you want to support me financially, you can leave a donation following the PayPal link that you can find down below in the description box. I will see you again next time. Namaste.